We've been looking at scientific notation and doing our conversions by hand, but obviously we'd also like to know how to work with scientific notation on a calculator. So I'm going to take you through that now. If we're asked to write 5,32 times 10 to the 5 as a decimal number, i.e. not in scientific notation, this is how we're going to do it using our calculator. The first thing you need to do is just make sure that you're in the correct mode. So it should just, in that little place there, say math, nothing else. Okay, then it's simple. We enter 5,32 use that times 10 to the x button, and then 5 for the exponent, and we press equals, and we've got our answer. So the main thing you need is this button, times 10 to the x, and then you just straight after that put in whatever your exponent is, like in this case 5. So here we go, another example. Again, we check we're in the right mode, and then we simply enter 1.23, Use your times 10 to the x. This time we need that negative button and the 6, and we get our answer. So the only extra thing here is we use the times 10 to the x button, but because we want a negative exponent, we use that negative and then the 6, um, and we've got it. All right. Now, if we want to work with our calculator in scientific notation mode, we first need to change the mode of our calculator into scientific mode. So, shift, mode, and then we choose 7 for psi, and then we choose the number 3 at this point. I'll explain that to you now. Okay, let's go through it again. We do shift, then mode, then the 7, and now this next number where I chose 3, what is that about? Well, it really just allows you to decide how many digits you want in the answer. So I chose three digits, and this would be something like 5 comma 3, 2 times 10 to the 5. There's just three digits there. Whereas if I'd chosen uh, 6, then I'd have something like 5 comma 3, 2, 4, 1, 0. That has got six digits in the answer. Okay, so now we've changed it into scientific notation mode. Notice over there now, instead of just the math, you've got psi math, and that tells you you're using scientific notation mode. All right, now we can get go from a number in just normal decimal notation into scientific notation. How do we do that? Well, we simply put the number in, and we hit the equals to sign. Now notice here we get 6,58 times 10 to the 5. And that's a bit unexpected because I was kind of expecting 6,579 times 10 to the 5. But remember, when I chose that mode, I said I only wanted three digits. And so my calculator is obeying me and giving me three digits. So it's rounding from 6,579 to 6,58, so it can just give me three digits. So if I'm not happy with it doing that rounding and I actually want more of the digits, I can just go ahead and change that in that mode. Let me show you how. So I go through the same process, shift, mode, seven, but this time I'm gonna choose five because I want five digits in my answer. Now when I go through that process, I get 6,5790 times 10 to the 5. So you can always just go through the process of shift mode 7 for scientific notation, and then you choose whatever number of digits you want in your answer in scientific notation. So you can happily change it back and forth. Another example if I wanted to write 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0,000034 in scientific notation, I can do this on my calculator. First step is always just to make sure I'm in that scientific um, notation mode, otherwise it's not going to work. And then I go ahead and type in, and I press equals. Now notice here it gives me a fraction so I just need to hit that SD button to turn it into the form I want. 
So the only addition in this example, when you doing for um, numbers that are small little numbers, it's going to give you a fraction, and then you hit the SD button to get it into scientific notation. All right. If I want to do a calculation like this on my calculator, again, first step is to make sure I am in that scientific notation mode. And then I simply pop it in 1.45, use the 10 to the X button and 3, and then 2.36, use the 10 to the X button and 2, and then hit equals. And it gives me the answer. Now, if I wanted to put that answer back into our regular normal number form, well, I just need to change back out of scientific notation mode and it will immediately turn it into the right number. So how do I take my calculator out of scientific notation mode? I proceed as follows. Shift mode, but in this case, I'm going to choose eight for normal mode and two. And I'll get my answer straight away as 342200. So let's recap that. It's shift mode and then this time eight because you want normal mode. It gives you a choice of one or two. Choose two because two will turn bigger scientific notation numbers into um, decimal numbers whereas one won't. And just a final little word of warning, um, you actually still need to know how to do the conversions by hand because your calculator has limit limitations. So here I've got my calculator perfectly in math mode and I want to write 1.23 times 10 to the negative 12 as a decimal number. I proceed as I've always done. Hit the equals to sign and my calculator simply doesn't do the conversion. It leaves it as 10 to the negative 12. And why is that? Well, it's because 12 is a really big number, right? So there's going to be lots and lots and lots and lots of zeros here, and that's simply too much for the calculator. And so it leaves it in scientific notation mode.